Hi, I'm Phil and welcome to my channel. Now, regular viewers will know that I like to keep my motorcycle really clean. Now, I have in fact created a series called How to Make Your Motorcycle Look Amazing. And to my amazement, that series has had over 130,000 views, which is incredible. In that series, I show you step by step not only how to clean your motorcycle, but also how to stop it from rusting by using ACF 50. Now, if you haven't seen those videos, then please go and take a look. Now, a British brand called Auto Bright Direct reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested to try some of their cleaning products. Now, they're already really well known in the car market. You can, in fact, buy their cleaning products in Halfords. Now, they have a new set of products aimed specifically at motorcycles called the Extreme Range. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to use these products. And I'm going to honestly tell you what I really think of them. So without any further ado, let's get on and clean my motorcycle. So as I mentioned, I've got these brand new products from Auto Bright Extreme for me to try out on the bike. Now, what I'm going to do is actually give the bike a really, really thorough clean, reapply ACF 50, and then try the polish and the ceramic coating and see how that lasts throughout the winter. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply the Extreme Bike Cleaner, which is a pre-wash and an all-purpose cleaner. But before I use this, I need to give the bike just a rinse with uh, cold water using a hose pipe. So whenever I start creating my videos, I always forget to do this when I'm washing the bike. The exhaust, plug them up. This is an old tea towel, literally I've just cut in half. And it just stops the water going in and rust, causing rust from the inside. Just bung up these holes and at the front as well. Some of you may look at my bike and say it doesn't look that dirty, which is true, but as far as I'm concerned, it was ready for a thorough wash. One thing I noticed when applying the Extreme Cleaner was that I couldn't adjust the nozzle on the trigger to create a wide fan, which I would have liked. Next time I use it, I may try another trigger, but as a pre-wash, it worked really well. Okay guys, so I've applied the Extreme Bike Cleaner as a pre-wash. Now I've allowed that to dwell for one to two minutes, or well, two minutes actually. They advise on the how to use instructions, one to two minutes. I also used um, a detailing brush that you may have seen. And also I've just remembered that they sent me a pack of brushes. So I need to dig those out, see what we've got and use those as well. Now I am rushing a little bit because it is December, it's freezing cold, I am due a haircut at any moment now and lots to do and we lose the light. But so far, so good. One thing I should point out is this has a really nice lemon smell to it actually, which is very pleasing. Okay, so Auto Bright Extreme have also kindly sent me this multi-purpose brush kit and uh, a microfiber mitt, which is sort of glove shape. So I'm going to be using that when I do the shampoo stage, actually. So here's the brush kit which they've sent me, which is a little bit tough to open, but I've done that now. There we go. So, oh, very similar sort of brushes to um, what I already use. And it looks like you can uh, change the, the, the brushes and the heads on there as well. So fantastic, really look forward to using those. 
So next on the list is using snow foam. Now I've got the Auto Bright Direct Magi Foam, which says it's the ultimate pre-wash snow foam. And apparently this is one of their best sellers for cars and obviously you can use it on bikes as well. So I have got the IK pressure sprayer, um, which you may have seen me use in my other videos. So I'm gonna mix up some cold water and the Magi Foam and give this a good coating let that dwell. I think they say you let it dwell for five to eight minutes. Okay guys, so it's been about five, six minutes now, so I'm just about ready to get that off. Now, I'm not sure if I put a little bit too much in. It's come out really nice and thick. Um, if you want it to last, then obviously maybe not use as much as I have on my first one. I do tend to use snow foam a couple of times a year, really. It just depends obviously on the weather conditions and everything else. But um, this has actually gone on really nice and thick. When I first heard it, it had a bubblegum smell to it, it did kind of put me off a little bit, but this is actually quite nice. So now I need to get the hose pipe and uh, rinse this off. So now what I'm going to do is um, put some shampoo on the bike and I've got the Auto Bright Extreme Streak Free Shampoo. So here's one I prepared earlier, mix up a little bit of warm water, a nice, nice few bubbles going on there. They've also supplied me with um, this hand mitt. Now I do like to use this contraption which is really really good quality on top of the tank and work on the paintwork and then work down the frame using another cloth. So what I'm actually going to try and do is put this on my hand and use this to work my hand into all the little nooks and crannies um, and see how that works. I think that could be, uh, could be really interesting actually. Now something else to point out is that I've covered my Garmin sat nav with cling film and that's just to stop the water from getting into the connections. If you haven't seen my How to Make Your Motorcycle Look Amazing series of videos, then please go and take a look at those. But I like to work from the top, squeeze the shampoo down onto the bike, and just slowly work that in. And I've got my second bucket here. I've just cold water just to rinse the sponge out from it and then back into shampoo and back onto the paintwork. So I like to use this quality mitt, as I said earlier, for all the paint. So from the tank, mud guards, and anything that's just really nicely applied gloss paint, this is what I use. 
then uh, just rinse that off. Now I'm going to start working onto the engine around the frame and trying out the hand mitt, which I've got over there. Just try that on the tank and see how that feels. It does feel good quality. And yeah. Nice actually. Sorry if you feel like I'm caressing my motorcycle here. Okay, so my first bit of honest feedback is that it feels a little bit weird using your fingers to kind of clean all around the engine and around the frame. It did actually feel really nice actually working it into the paint and getting behind the back side of the panels as well. So um, before I kind of do too much, and the, the bike isn't that dirty obviously now we've cleaned it, new snow foam as well, pre-washed it. I'm going to save this for, um, for using on the panels actually and get back to using brushes on the chassis and the uh, and the engine. Now I have got a couple of large uh, muck-off brushes which I like to use on the engine and frame and the brushes that uh, Auto Bright Extreme supplied are a little bit finer so I'm going to save those for more of the detail actually so I'm going to crack up with using this one which works really well so it covers a large area. I find that just a lot easier than using the, the hand. Bit. But it's something you probably just get used to. Now, I keep mentioning about my How to Make Your Motorcycle Look Amazing series. If you haven't seen those, then please go and have a look because I slow the whole process down and really take my time explaining what I'm doing and showing different techniques. So go check those out and I'll make sure I'll put a link somewhere. As I apply this shampoo, it is creating a really nice thick lava. And although my nose is a bit blocked up, it smells nice as well. I'm not so sure if it's a cherry smell, but uh, it does work really well. Look at that lava up. Awesome job. So that's the bike now rinsed off, rinsed off all the shampoo. Now I need to dry the bike before I apply ACF 50. Now the bike really does need to be thoroughly dry. As I said, it's December now, it's really cold today. I'm sure it's gonna get even colder, but the bike doesn't dry in this weather. I'm very pleased to say that I have a new device. And I've been wanting this for a long, long time. Let me go and grab it and show you what it is. Now regular visitors of this channel will have seen my bestie and riding buddy Liska, also known as Twinny. Now she has the Street Triple 675 converted to R-Spec. Now if you haven't seen her video then please go and check that out. Now she's kindly given me some money for my birthday and I've bought a pet dryer. It's just a pet dryer but it does exactly the same thing as a motorcycle dryer. And if you look on Amazon, you can pick these up from say 60 pounds. You can see them for going up to about 100 pounds, but if you do your homework, you can get them for a really good price. So the dryer is really simple to use. As you can see, you've got three switches. You've got your on-off switch, you've got an airflow, which regulates how much air is pumped out through the machine, and you've got a heater with a low and a high setting. So before you actually start the machine, Make sure it's on off and your airflow is on the minimum and your heating is turned to off. Then switch the machine on, run it for about a minute or so on a minimum airflow and once the machine starts warming up then switch it to the low position on the heating. Then if you need to after a little while you can switch it to the higher setting. It's simple as that. Obviously you can then turn up your airflow once the machine starts to warm up.
the motorcycle dryer, or pet dryer, has done an amazing job drying off the bike. Now the next stage for me is to reapply ACF 50. Now, I like the bike to be absolutely bone dry. So by putting the bike in the garage, leaving it overnight, when I come back to it tomorrow, I know it's going to be a really good base to apply the ACF 50 and get the maximum protection. To find out exactly what ACF 50 is and how to apply it to your motorcycle, please check out my video, The Best Way to Apply ACF 50 to Your Motorbike, for a step-by-step, -step, all you need guide. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is use the Auto Bright Extreme Duo, which is a paint and metal polish. Now, at first I thought paint and metal, but I've done a lot of research on this, and uh, it all sounds good. So I'm going to start on a small area, probably the front of my guard. And what they suggest is give this bottle a really good shake and then just start applying the polish. Once I've done that stage, I'm then going to apply the ceramic spray sealer. Now you can use that on plastics, on aluminium, on metal as well. Um, and that's really going to help protect the paint. And then the final stage, I don't think you have to do this, but they've sent it to me, so I ain't going to use it. I've got a ceramic quick detailer as well, which I'm going to apply on top of all of that. So with those three products applied to the bike, it should really, really protect it from all the elements. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how this can come out, actually. So uh, let's go and get some cloths and crack on with it. <laughs> So to start with, I'm going to apply a little bit of the dual polish to an applicator I've got and start just testing this little area here. Nice little lavender smell to it actually, I think it is. suggest that you actually buff it off straight away that you don't leave it on I know with my Maguire's that I leave that to um, haze over actually that's come up really nice I can show you the finish on this. It's always difficult, but that has come up really nice. You can see it's like mirror like. Looking on the back of the camera, it looks a bit brighter, so I'm going to try and turn that down. There we go. That's more like how I'm seeing it. That is a really nice finish. So Auto Bright Direct have also sent me this plush microfiber applicator and it's got this pocket in the back so you can actually put your fingers in there to get a nice swirly motion and on a cold day like today it actually keeps your fingers warm. So now I'm going to apply my three pea-sized 
lots of duo polish. So, duo polish. I've applied it to the front fairing and the rear fairings, and uh, it's really nice. Really, really nice reflective finish. Smells good. It's got a lavender colour colour to it, and uh, I'm not sure if it's. Yeah, it's kind of got a little bit of a lavender smell. As I say, I'm, we're just all getting over colds here, so I'm still a little bit blocked up. But now I'm actually going to apply it to the big area on the tank. And let's see how uh, how that comes up. And I haven't even yet used the ceramic detailer, so that's going to look amazing. Now I'm sure you can see that guys, as I use this microfiber towel just to um, remove um, and buff off the residue of polish, it just come up with a really nice deep shine to the paint. Um, I'm really impressed, it feels really smooth as well and it's got a lovely, lovely finish to it. It's actually got a really nice smell as well. So yeah, I am impressed. So, um, and it is a dual polish. Yeah, it is a dual polish, senior moment, it is a dual polish, so I can use it on the metalwork as well. But right now I'm going to concentrate on doing the side panels and the front mud guard, and then I'll do the metalwork another time. <laughs> I will point out to you guys is this um, plush microfiber applicator is really nice it's really nice it's thick and at the, because it's new it doesn't want to bend too much so in certain areas like in there and I notice it around the tank as well where I used this applicator before now this is actually a Meguiar's applicator and this is just general use you can get these everywhere so this folds down quite a spongy so you can actually get into the hard to reach areas so i've been struggling to do that with this one um you can see that doesn't want to doesn't want to do that but um apart from that this is lovely so i think i would like to have one of these nearby to use with that just a little um little observation because that's what it's all about Okay, so I've just managed to get all the paint finished with the duo polish and then it started to rain, which is a bit annoying. But no problem, I've pushed the bike back in the garage. I haven't got a great deal of room in the garage to show you the next stage, so I'm gonna wait. So I want you to see how the ceramic detailer actually goes onto the paint and how that looks when I apply it. So, as I say, there's no immediate rush, so let's wait. And if there is anybody out there who actually wants to sponsor me for a larger garage in the bottom of the garden, then that would be awesome. You know where to contact me. 
Okay, so the next stage of cleaning the bike is for me to apply the ceramic spray sealant. Now, Autobrite Direct have got two ceramic products which they've sent me. The sealant and the quick detailer. Now, when I first got these and uh, had a look online, I wasn't too sure with the difference between both products. Um, they both kind of seem to do the similar, similar things, so I thought. So I gave Autobrite Direct a call, literally picked up the phone. Now they're really good actually for, if you've got any questions, um, they will literally give you the best advice, which is what they've um, given to me. And they've given me some of their sort of top tips for using this product. So you don't always get that with all manufacturers and all brands. So I thought that's really worth pointing out as well. So this product, the ceramic spray sealant, can be used on paint and also on metal and plastics and acrylics. Now, if the optimum temperature is above eight degrees to apply this. Now that way, if the temperature is above eight degrees, then this product should last for up to 12 months on your, on your product. Now, if it's a little bit cooler, which it is here today, it's about four or five degrees, then what they actually suggest you do is use a dryer, a warm air dryer. Now I've got um, the pet dryer, as you know, which I used earlier, and they actually recommend that you actually use that to warm up the panels and areas in the bike that you actually want to apply this product to. Now, again, depending on the temperature and when you apply this, there's a local woody cat. <laughs> depending on the temperature in which you apply this, and how often you use the bike and what the conditions are when you use the bike. They do say if it's a little bit cooler, then the product will last between four to six months, which is still like pretty fantastic really. If you're having your bike or car sprayed with a ceramic coating, then that can last for up to five years. And obviously doing this yourself, you're not gonna get that kind of same longevity. So, uh, and I like to look after and clean my bike anyway, so, you know, even six months protection sounds fantastic to me. Um, what else have they recommended? Oh yeah, once you apply this to your bike, leave it between 24 to 48 hours for the product to actually cure um, and have maximum protection for your bike. So um, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna warm up the bike apply this product on the different panels and then I'm going to leave it for uh, up to a couple of days and then once that's finished and cured correctly I'm then going to apply the ceramic quick detailer to maybe just kind of one panel uh, to start with and to see if I can really notice the difference with that but um, as I said earlier what, what they recommend you do is once you start using the bike instead of then applying this product on a regular basis, you can top it up by using this quick detailer.
have I done so far? Applied the ceramic spray sealant all over the paintwork, parts of the engine and chassis. Next thing I want to do is use the ceramic quick detailer. Now, this is a standalone product, so you don't have to use the spray sealant, you can just use this instead of. But what Autobrite suggests and recommends is that if you use this product on top of the spray sealant, it actually enhances the gloss finish um, to the paintwork. So obviously, that's what I'm really keen to do. Now, since I applied the spray sealant, temperature dropped to about minus eight. Then we had a big dump of snow for about a week or so. So I haven't been able to do anything. And as you can see today, the sun's coming out and it's nine degrees. So probably got just a couple of hours of light left. So I'm keen to see how this will enhance the paintwork. So I'm gonna crack on with that right now. Okay, so so far I've applied the ceramic quick detailer to the paintwork on the, on the uh, tank, on the fairing, other bits of plastic, and the finish is really nice. Obviously, I've used their duo polish, I've used the other spray sealant as well, ceramic spray sealant, and then this, um, which they say gives an enhanced gloss finish. Um, and the finish is just lovely, it, it's as good as uh, any products I've ever used. If not better, um, we shall have to see. Obviously I haven't used it in the rain yet. The whole idea of the, really, the ceramic uh, detailer is it will protect the bike um, and the water will repel off of the paintwork. So it, it will protect the bike from the elements, basically. So I want to carry on using this product on the frame, on the wheels and the rims and the rest of the paintwork. Okay guys, so that is the bike pretty much back together. Um, what do you think of the finish? I must admit, I am very impressed with um, the overall finish of the bike. Um, Auto Bright Extreme Products. Well, yeah, really, really nice. It has got a lovely gloss finish. The light is just beginning to change now actually. It's just probably got about another half hour, 45 minutes before the light would go and I love this time of the evening. So I think what I'm gonna do is gonna get the bike outside and get some detail shots for you. But uh, yeah, do let me know in the comments what you think of um, the finish of the bike. And if, you've, and if you have ever used Auto Bright Extreme products, then let me know what you think of them. As I say, I, I haven't used it outside yet. 
um, to see how the water is going to repel off of the paint off the bike but I'm pretty sure it's just going to bead up and just roll off the paint. I could get the hose pipe out and uh, show you how that works but I'm not going to because I'm so pleased with the finish. So, so yeah as always guys let me know in the comments what you think of uh, the look on the bike and stay safe and I'll see you soon. Let's just finish this video off with some nice little close up shots shall we? Let's do that now. See you soon. Subscribe, like and comment.